وَمَنْ أَحْسَنُ قَوْلًا Yes, Salaam Alaikum, Allah. Salaam Alaikum. It's great to to speak to you again. It's been it's been a long time. A long, long time, man. But uh, Alhamdulillah, it's good to see you now. Last time I spoke to you, you weren't Muslim, and now you're a Muslim, man. Yeah, I would say that the the debate we had actually was a big part in convincing me. Um, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. May Allah bless it for you. May Allah protect you and keep you on the right path. You too, brother. So, where are you right now? What are you, what are you doing? Uh, I'm in DC right now. Uh, I'm in Virginia. So, Alhamdulillah, it's been busy. Uh, last weekend, we were in New York. Uh, Alhamdulillah, in three days, we had 30 people accept Islam. Alhamdulillah, we're at Union Square, Times Square, Yankee Stadium. Uh, this weekend, I'm here in DC. We were just at the White House earlier. So Alhamdulillah, we're giving da'wah outside. Alhamdulillah, we had three people accept Islam there. Then I went to the masjid uh, here in Ikna. I just gave the speech where I called you from. And now I'm back at the hotel. So <laughs> I'm going to go home tomorrow. Bro, bro, you don't even know I'm going home. And in two days, I'm flying to Canada. <laughs> what are you doing in Canada? Why would you go there? Uh, we're doing a da'wah workshop. We're trying to train people how to give da'wah and uh, yani how to have in a you know good productive dialogue and all of that. So. Yeah, I could probably do a better job of that. I'm trying because I, 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 I recently reverted maybe two months ago. And since then, just people constantly want to debate me. They always want to challenge me on the on the Quran. They, they want to see if I how much I know. So it, it, I, I could use actually it's like something like that. Well, I could benefit from. Bro, you're always welcome, man. Let me know anytime. We'll hook up, inshallah. So what do you, what did you notice about, um, did you think that I was going to revert to Islam when we last spoke? We spoke about last summer, I think almost a year. Yeah, about a year ago. Yeah. Um, you know, Allah knows the hearts, but uh, I saw, I saw you had uh, a sincere want to know the truth. You were fair. You, you weren't like, even in the discussion, um, you, you weren't like being biased towards either side. And when I see somebody with that openness, uh, usually I end up seeing them become Muslim, alhamdulillah. And so what is the process of, of giving da'wah like? And, and how do you think I yeah. can effectively do that on, on my stream? Because I, I, what I did hear, uh, maybe this is a bit selfish of a question, but I did hear that if you do uh, give da'wah properly, then you are almost guaranteed a spot in heaven. Yeah, that's true. No doubt to that. If you do it right, if you do it sincerely for Allah. So the thing with da'wah, is we don't do it for fame, we don't do it for money, we don't do it for uh, any trying to get popularity. We do it really because we want to connect people with their creator. You know, and I challenge all these Christian apologists, uh, atheists, you know, apostates and all this. I, I challenge them, cancel your Patreon, don't take money and come debate me just for the sake of the truth. And nobody took me up on that. <laughs> so... Like me, I don't get paid for that. I don't get paid from YouTube. I don't get paid from One Message Foundation. I don't get paid from my masjid. I work a regular job. I earn my money. Even I'm out here, I paid my own ticket, you know? What's the point is the point is that I want people to connect to their creator. I don't want people to worship the creation. I don't want people to worship Jesus or a Ram or a blue guy or a monkey or a cow. I want people to worship the one that Jesus worshiped. I want the people to worship the one Abraham and Moses and Muhammad, peace and blessings. We want all of them. We love all of them. We want them to worship that creator. So when you do that sincerely, no doubt Allah will give you a place in Jannah. There was a, a moment I had a debate yesterday with the Christian, and he was saying, like, basically, I, people are trying to get me to uh, to convert to Christianity, and like they're saying um, that you're you're getting on your knees for Islam and all this stuff. You're submitting, and then afterwards, I read a comment, and it's like, this is how Jesus prayed in the Bible. Jesus prayed yeah, like exactly. a Muslim, just like Jesus prayed like a Muslim did. Exactly. You know, I have my my Bible right here, as you can see. So do I, I have my Bible. Right excellent, excellent. You know, when you look at Jesus in the Bible, you will find many things that uh, you will not fit today's version of Christianity. You look at Jesus, he says here in Mark 13, 32, and this is a verse we use all the time. And this is actually the verse uh, we use with young Don. And again, shout out to young Don. I know he's, he's doing good on his, his journey. I saw the video where he's rejecting Jesus being God now. Anytime he wants, I'm ready to have a conversation offline. I don't care about views or any of that. 
just to answer his questions if he ever wants. Yeah, for context, but, uh, if I don't mean to interrupt, but he just, go for it. Go for he it. just released a video saying that he rejects the idea of the Trinity, um, which was uh, basically like a big point of contention that we had in the debate last year. And that made me think yeah. very differently about Christianity. And even yesterday I was debating two Christians and I asked them about the Trinity. And they like if you ever ask Christians about that, I bet you've noticed this too, debating them. They always have a different explanation for the trinity there's nothing that uh, concrete about it and, and i don't mean this in an insulting way but i haven't heard any way that makes sense i grew up catholic i grew up with this idea and i i don't fully understand and there's and then whenever they kind of get caught and it doesn't make god works in mysterious ways <laughs> the mystery of the trinity right right and and that's such a funny thing because in the bible we find god is not the author of confusion and every time i've ever debated a christian about the trinity they've, they've admitted that it is confusing <laughs> and, you know, recently we had a debate, uh, you'll see on the One Message Foundation channel in New York, we had three Christian preachers that were out there in Times Square, and we had the debate live there, and each one of them was giving a different answer. Even one of them said God, the, the Holy Ghost, and Jesus, meaning the Father, they're all equal. And the other one, standing right there next to him in the same preacher booth, was like, no, they're not equal, there's a hierarchy. So which one is it? <laughs> so you had a trinity about the trinity. Right? We had a trinity that got defeated by a tawheed, by the oneness. <laughs> so, you know, even if you look at right here in, in the Bible, in Revelations, uh, you will find here that Jesus says to about the Father, this is my God. Right? So you see, it's a reference to my God. You will never find anywhere in the Bible the Father referring to Jesus as my God or the Holy Ghost. Right? You will find God the Father. And, and you know, for anybody who's Christian, this, is, this isn't an insult. This is really out of love, wanting you to realize what your scripture actually says, wanting you to worship the way Jesus worshiped. In the Bible, Jesus, he put his forehead on the ground and he prayed. Abraham and Moses, they put their forehead on the ground and they prayed. Today, when is the last time you went into a church and you saw people praying the way Jesus prayed, the way Muslims pray? Right? It's something that's been changed. Something that's been diluted. Today, you look at Christmas. Where is Christmas in the Bible? Never. Where is the, where is Santa? You know, uh, there, I have a video on the channel. We show uh, Pat Robertson, one of the well-known Christian apologists. He comes out and says it's pagan. It's all pagan. The tree, the eggnog, the Santa Claus, the gift. It's all pagan. He admits this is all pagan, and they have imported it into Christianity. And today, every church celebrates Christmas, even though you will not find any trace of it in the Bible. You will not find it, the disciples following it. You will not find Jesus, peace and blessings be upon him. You know, we love Jesus, uh, but you'll never see him celebrating Christmas. Early church fathers all condemned it. Today, every Christian apologist is celebrating a pagan festival, knowing it's pagan. But this is the problem. If you look in the Bible... Uh, in John 17, 3, and this is something very important. If you're a Christian, you know, get your own Bible, look it up. I mean, it doesn't matter if it's NIV, KGV, and it's an, uh, that according to Christian Bible, it says, and this is eternal life, that they may know you, the one true God, the one only true God. Now, Jesus, according to Christians, are, is saying that he came to tell people that you need to get to know the one only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom he sent, he's separating himself from being from the one true God. He's saying that the people need to get to know the one true only God and know that that God sent Jesus Christ. And this is right here in the Bible. So when you talk about the Trinity, it, it, it always ends up not making sense. If they're equal, if they're co-equal, then why does Jesus pray to the Father? The Father doesn't pray to Jesus. I said, well, Jesus, when he came to earth, he took a human form. Okay, so that means he wasn't God anymore, right? Because according to the Bible, God knows everything, right? So there is and, a hierarchy in the Trinity. Well, well there... not according to Christian doctrine. This is, this, is, this is the confusing part, right? Is that you do see a hierarchy to the Trinity in the Bible. In fact, you don't even find the Trinity, but you do find a hierarchy where Jesus prays to God. God sends Jesus with a mission, right? Mm -hmm. But according to Christian standard doctrine today, they're co-equal, co-existent. So that would mean there is no hierarchy. They're, co they're exactly equal. Now, now, we know that Jesus says that no one knows the hour in the Bible. No one knows the hour except the Father. Right? And he clarifies by saying in, in Mark that no one knows the hour, not even the angels, nor the Son, only the Father. Now think about that. 
Mm. He didn't just say God. He didn't just say no one. He clarified that only the Father, not, and he clarified saying nor the Son. So if you're equal, then you know the same amount. If you know more than me, we're no longer equal, right? We're not one anymore. If we're one, then we know the same thing. So these things are very clear. I, I didn't start out as a Muslim. I started out going to church. I grew up in San Diego. I hung out with in a Mexican gang member. There's a whole different story there. But, you know, growing up, I was in church. I never went to a mosque. And this Bible that I've got marked up, I didn't, I didn't do it to debate. I studied the Bible. In Christian church studies, youth pastors were sitting down with me, going cover to cover. And when I found these inconsistencies, and every time I asked, either I get kicked out, or I just get shut up and believe, or it's a mystery. God works in mysterious ways. Don't ask questions. Just accept it. And it just didn't make sense anymore. So, you know, alhamdulillah, when I came and started to study Islam, I found the message of Jesus in Islam the true message of Jesus, peace and blessings be upon him. And that's why even when people mock Jesus, like like atheists, we Muslims get upset sometimes more than the Christians do. You know, we stand up, like they made a movie called Jesus Superstar, and it played, you know, mockingly in every Christian country. Muslim countries banned it because we love Jesus, but we don't worship him. That's the thing. Yeah, Just like the people that were around him. He's kind of become a caricature in a lot of ways in Western culture, and Christians yeah. don't do a good job of defending it. Uh, they kind of let all of that happen. They let pagans infiltrate the religion and make it materialistic. And they they capitalize monetarily on a lot of things in Christian values, which which cheapens it. And it doesn't. It, that's why I had a hard time having faith. Uh, and I, I'm yeah. still in the beginning stages of the Quran. Um, I'm reading the Sunnah right now. I think that's how you pronounce it um, about uh, male female dynamics. And there's a lot more that I have to learn. So I have, two, I have two questions. Um, I, I, I want to answer this before I forget. They're asking if you know Sam Schumann. Sam Shimon, yes. Um, if you go on the One Message Foundation channel, you'll see when Sam Shimon, David Wood, and Anthony Rogers, all three came out to debate me in San Diego. Um, you can watch the video. Sam Shimon kind of just walked away. I even called him. I said, hey, Sam, come talk to me. And he just withered away. You know, when he's, when he's in his bathroom making videos at home, he, he's a lion. When he came in front of me, go watch the video. If, if you guys think, I'll check it out. If you don't believe me, go check it out. Just the three of them. Watch the part when I'm telling Sam, "Hey, Sam, come talk to me," and he comes, and then he just runs away. So don't give me Sam Shimon. Sam Shimon's not a—he's not a literal. He's not a Bible expert. He's not a Quran expert. He's just somebody who sits around in his bathroom calling people's mothers whores and things. And if that's Christianity. I'm good. That's not very Christian. Uh, well, obviously, I don't really know that much about him. But what do you think uh, the, the next steps as, as a new revert? Uh, because you've probably seen a lot of people. Yeah. What do you think the next steps? I've been going to Juma prayer for the past three weeks. Um, Excellent. I think that that's what people were recommending I do. Uh, I'll, obviously, people are being very critical of my lifestyle and everything, um, which I, I don't know. Look, yeah. Don't, don't worry about the haters, man. You know, I, I deal with this kind of stuff all day long. People are the hate. They're just going to hate. You're new in Islam, alhamdulillah, Islam is not something that, you know, you, you want to get overwhelmed by. You want to take it step by step. The wife of the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, Aisha radiallahu anha, she said a beautiful hadith. It's a statement of hers. She said that if Islam, when it was revealed in the beginning, the first rules in Mecca were don't drink, don't gamble, don't fornicate, don't do anything, people wouldn't have been able to handle it. So in the beginning in Mecca, it was all about increasing your faith, learning your knowledge. And then when, this, when the companions of the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, when they went to Medina and they were able to handle it, then, the, then all the rulings and regulations started to come. The first thing I suggest for you is don't worry about what people say. Increase your faith. Increase your knowledge. I'll send you some videos we made on the evolution, on step by step. We made them on how to pray, step by step. The most important action in Islam is the five-time prayers. You got to get on your prayers. You know, Whatever bad habits you may have, Inshallah, when you are praying properly and correctly and on time, those bad habits will start going away. Five times every day. Okay. I, I, I have been uh, trying. To, it's been like twice a day, if I'm going to be honest, like in the morning and at yeah, night. I feel you. Um, I'm still trying uh, to learn the, um, how to say everything properly. I got the motions down, but it's difficult to to get. I got you. I don't don't worry. If you need help, we're here for you, bro. I mean, you. Inshallah, we made, we made videos especially to help people learn. We've got the transliteration, translation. I'll send those to you, inshallah. Start learning those. 
just try to strive on your five time daily prayers. You're already doing Jummah, you're doing great. And inshallah, slowly, slowly, you're going to start living a healthier lifestyle. You're going to be the best version of Sneeko that you can be, inshallah. And you're going to be a Dai. You're, Allah has given you a platform and Allah has blessed you with it. And use that platform for good, for positivity. You know, there's people caught up in drugs, people that caught up in meth and heroin and all of that. And, and Islam cures that. We've seen so many people in San Diego, alhamdulillah, in the last two years, we've had more than 2,000 people become Muslim. Many of those, you can see the videos online, you'll see them being lost. In, myself, I used to be involved in gangs and stuff. If you read my past, you'd be shocked, right? But how did I get out of all of that? Through Islam. And not through just slogans and you know emotions, but through knowledge and studying. And slowly, slowly, inshallah, inshallah, all your bad habits will go away. Some people just want to hate. What's the point in that? And instead, take positive steps. That seemed, I, th I agree with everything you're saying. One uh, moment I had in, uh, in a debate yesterday, and some people were correcting me on this, so I want to ask you. Um, I was saying that a big reason why I resonate with Islam is that there's not a lot of um, mysteries and there's not a lot of like ritualistic aspects and uh, superhuman, supernatural. I mean, so far, what I read in the Quran, there, there, it doesn't seem like there's a lot of um, unnatural things. Like uh, Christianity talks a lot about how Jesus was able to walk on water and turn his blood into uh, into wine and, and stuff like that. Wine, yeah. Right? Do, are there any supernatural um, instances? Like, are there any? Is there anything supernatural in the Quran? So, of course, there are miracles the prophets had. Um, none of those are. For example, unscientific or or ununderstandable, right? Instead, all of the miracles of the Quran, if you look, you'll find scientific evidences for them. There is one of the beautiful miracles in the Quran about the splitting of the moon in Surah Qamar, in the first verse, talks about how the moon split in two and came back together. And this is mentioned in authentic narrations. Now, I have a video. If you check it, it's uh, if you put moon splitting, Uthman ibn Farooq, it'll come up on YouTube. You'll see it where I present that even NASA talks about the craters across the moon and the fact that there's two sides of the moon and there is a possibility that either two moons, and according to NASA, I mean, now NASA is not saying this miracle happened or not happened. That's not NASA's job. But NASA does talk about these cracks on the moon and the possibility that the moon was in two pieces at one time. Now, we do have amazing things in the Quran, no doubt to that. The prophets had miracles, but they were so the people would know that these are true prophets. What we don't have is a lot of these things that don't really make sense. Like for example, if you turn water into, into wine and you're getting people drunk, like you see what I'm saying? Like, like what kind of a prophet does that, right? If you look at uh, David in the, in the Bible, in the Psalms of David, he, he falls and he, he gets attracted to some woman and then he, and he, a married woman, and then he has intercourse with her, whether it's consensual or not. Then he has her husband, she gets pregnant, called back from the, from the forefront and has him killed. And the New Testament calls him a prophet. So in Islam, we don't believe that. We don't believe in those kinds of things. Islam, all the prophets are righteous, Lot having sex with his own daughters, being drunk. We don't believe in that. We believe that all the prophets that came, they came with the same message to worship the one creator, follow the prophet of your time. We do believe there were miracles, but those were to let people know that this is a true prophet. You don't think that, uh, and so the rebuttal to this is that you don't think, and I'm sure you've heard this, that NASA has an agenda. NASA, for example, I heard yesterday in the debate, NASA means deception in Hebrew. Uh, you know, to be honest, uh, I don't know enough Hebrew to say that. And at the same time, to take a word that like an acronym in English and try to tie it to another language doesn't make sense, right? Okay. I speak Pashto. I mean, there's many words in Pashto that if I take acronyms would make no sense, right? But, uh, you know, I was in Hawaii. They have a place called Kuna, right? In Pashto, that would mean but, right? But, but that doesn't mean that that's, what it, that's where it came from, right? Mm -hmm. Regarding NASA and their agenda, you know, doesn't really matter. I mean, what, what NASA shows with pictures ab about the moon and the crack, they're not saying the miracle happened or didn't happen. That's not their job. Their job is to observe. So when they show us this, what we can say is scientifically there is an evidence of this miracle having had happened. Now, when did it happen and stuff? NASA doesn't get into that, right? But we have historic evidence. Now, Nico, for example, um, do you believe there was a man named Alexander that conquered many countries at a young age, right? You heard Alexander the Great? I, I heard about that. But yeah, right, so... in the book. Yeah, history books have it, right? 
Or, you know, if you take Abraham Lincoln, got shot in a theater, right? That's history, right? Okay. But now, think about this. Who was actually there that saw it? Like, obviously, we don't have video, right? Who was the first-hand reporter that saw Abraham Lincoln get shot? I don't know. I don't think you know either, right? Mm. <laughs> we just believe it because in history books, right? Okay. Who was there when Alexander the Great conquered, you know, Egypt? Who, who was the first-hand reporter that wrote, scribed that out? We don't know, right? Even if you look at the Bible, the earliest complete, semi-complete manuscript is going to be from 4th century. There is an author named Bart Ehrman. He's an atheist. He's not Muslim. He's not Christian. He used to be Christian. And he's got many videos where he talks about that we have. We don't even know who wrote these books. It's anonymous authors, right? The McCarthy Study Bible, which I have, when it talks about the chapter called Hebrews, it goes, it's anonymous. We don't even know who wrote it. But now, for the miracles of the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, we can tell you who saw it. Like the splitting of the moon, Abdullah ibn Abbas, for example, he's one of the companions, Anas ibn Malik, right? These are Abdullah ibn Umar. These, we know who were the first-hand people who saw the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, and these miraculous things that happened with him. Not just that, the enemies of the Prophet, peace be upon him, like Walid ibn Mughayra, who never became Muslim, even he reported it. He said, yes, we did see this, right? And, and at that time, they thought maybe, you know, he did some magic or something, right? So he asked the people outside of Mecca. Uh, Anas ibn Malik was in Medina. And there are reports out of India. And again, just to be clear, we have a very stringent science in Hadith, how we check, verify, and make sure a report is authentic. Those, those reports from India would not meet that standard. But they have oral and written tradition from kings in India from a different geographic location that also saw the splitting of the moon. And then that king later on becomes Muslim. He builds a mosque. That mosque is still there. The Prime Minister of India, a Hindu nationalist, Modi, hates Muslims, you know, has laws that he's putting against Muslims. Even he admitted to this, and he made a little gold replica and sent it to the King of Saudi Arabia as a gift, showing that the kings in India had seen the splitting of the moon. So we have such evidence for the miracles of Islam that it's more compelling evidence than most of history that we have out there today. Do you th is the earth flat in the Quran? Look, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about the earth being spread out. The majority of the scholars of Islam, they talk about the meaning there is that the earth was made where you can walk on it, farm on it, that Allah spread it, that the meaning is not flat, right? Whether the earth is flat or round, this is something that's been discussed even amongst Islamic scholars. They've had this discussion in the past. And many of the scholars like Ibn Hazm and others, they took the world to be round and they mentioned verse from the Quran to support that. And there are those that talked about the flat earth theory and they mentioned verses. To be honest, I mean, this is not really something that uh, is a part of Islamic creedal issue, you know. Okay. Um, in Islamic creed, you know, whether the sun goes around the earth or the earth goes around the sun, you know, it doesn't really matter. You know, here, th these are things that we discuss with scientists, we discuss with, with evidences. There are a verse in the Quran that do mention that all of the heavenly bodies have orbits, right? And this is in Surah Al-Anbiya. And this is something beautiful because the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, could not have known that at that time. He was not a literate man. He was not an educated man. He couldn't read or write. He didn't study philosophy or the Greek work. He didn't astronomy or any of that. He was in a desert more than 1,400 years ago. So the Quran talks about this in a, in a way that touches us today so we can see things that could not have been known the development of the fetus in the womb of the mother those are amazing things the quran the prophet muhammad could not have known on his own now the fact that the sun moves and the moon moves and the earth moves and there's all these every planet has an orbit this is something we can observe today and we can find scientifically but till very recently they said the sun doesn't have an orbit right very recently, scientists said, no, even the sun has an orbit. And that's something we find in the Quran. In the beginning stages of the, of the Quran so far, you can see that there's a lot of discussion about Jews and Christians. And one passage or, that, that I really like is how it's, it's really uh, the concept of interest and interest on mm. loans and everything and how, how forbidden that is and how immoral that is that that practice mm. and how certain other groups of people 
started they were in charge of this beforehand right we're, we're, in, rumble. we're in rumble so we, we could talk about it but what is the the general consensus about uh jews and christians uh in the in the muslim world obviously i i think that we should free palestine uh but of course i would like to know your stance on this look my stance is the stance of the quran it's the stance of the hadith i don't take in it's not about politics uh, in the Quran, for example, in Surah Al-Fatiha, it says, غَيْرِ الْمَغْضُوبِ عَلَيْهِمْ وَلَا الضَّالِينَ That, you know, we ask Allah not to make us to go down the path of those that went astray or those that earned the wrath of Allah. Uh, Rasulullah, the Prophet, والسلام, he mentioned an authentic narration that مَغْضُوبِ عَلَيْهِمْ This is referring to the Jews, that the tricks they played with the religion, when they changed the religion, they earned the wrath of Allah. And وَلَا الضَّالِينَ Those that went astray, even though I mean, they had some sincerity, but the sincerely went astray is referring to the Christians. The Christians and Jews have a special place in Islam. We call them Ahlul Kitab, the people of the book. We have a special relationship between us and them because no doubt we believe in the same prophet. We believe in the same God that sent those prophets. The problem that gets to be is instead of sticking to the original message of Jesus, peace and blessings be upon him, for example, the Christians, they, they went astray. They started to bring pagan ideologies of God having sons and sons having, you know, being gods and demigods and, you know, all these things like we talked about Christmas, we talked about these things. They brought those ideas into Christianity, right? So they went astray. And you will find many Christians that are sincere people. They're good. They're, they're good natured. They do a lot of charity. Um, they have soft hearts. And, and many of them, you will see that they will end up becoming Muslims because when they start to really research and study the Bible and the Quran, they realize the truth. So there is a special place for them. Um, you know, for example, the Jews, the zabha that they make, the meat that they slaughter, we're as Muslims are allowed to eat as long as done with certain conditions. There's the meat of the Ahlul Kitab. Why? Because their laws also were the same. But then as we see in the Jewish faith today, many things have changed. Many things have been twisted, you know. I was in uh, Palestine, current day occupied Palestine, and I saw some of the Orthodox Jews with the big hats and the furry hats and the curls and the big, you know, I like to have conversations, peaceful, respectful conversations. So I asked them, like, where did you get this from? And one of them was explaining to me the fur hat was started because there's a king in Austria Hatch, that wait. made the Jews wear ox tails. And it was kind of like mocking them. And they kind of owned it. They were like, let's just go with it, right? And I was like, but what does that have to do with Moses or David or the religion? Like you're taking mocks from Europe and making it a part of your faith. Like the big black jackets, that's not a part of your faith. You've introduced all this, you've changed. There's a video on, on the One Message Foundation channel, you'll see I was speaking to an Israeli in, when, I, uh, when I was out in uh, Santa Monica. And I told him, you guys changed your religion. You guys have changed the laws of God. And he said, yeah, we have. So what? That's what he told me, right? I mean, seriously, like, just like that. You see the video yourself, right? He's like, so what? I'm like, no, you don't have the right to, to corrupt the message of God. And if you do, then it earns the wrath of God, right? right? So we, we believe that people were, were given the same laws as far as not dealing with interest, but they started to change up the laws. They started saying, well, we can charge interest on Gentiles, the Rehm, you know, those, those non-Jews. And they started to uh, find ways around it until today, you can go check the top CEOs of banks and you know uh, where they fall. So we believe that the system of interest is oppressive, right? Like you imagine somebody, you go out to go buy a house, you're struggling, but you come, you come up with like you know forty grand. I mean, I don't know where, where do you live? Where, where are you from in the uh, U.S.? From New York, I live in Miami now. New York, oh, okay, okay, guys, New York and Miami, so both expensive places too, right? So I'm in, I'm in San Diego, California, right? I mean, you try to buy a, a, a average house, you're looking at $800,000, $600,000, nothing less than $600,000, right? So somebody goes and comes up with that, with, with that down payment, they, maybe they put like 40 grand down, right? And then they get a loan, let's say, um, you know, at a 5% loan, right? So let me just do some math for you, right? So let's say $800,000 house, you think that's a good average house, right? Mm -hmm. Times point zero. Seven, you know, it's a good rate. You're paying fifty-six thousand dollars just in interest every year. Half, think about that. That's a scam. And 
they'll make you pay the interest first. So if you look at the mortgage, you're paying interest. You're not, you're not making any more progress on owning the house in the beginning. Mm -hmm. Now, times that by 30, that's 1.6 million, 1,680,000 $1, of just <gasps> interest in your 30-year loan. Boom, now boom, add your $800,000 back for your principal. That means that $800,000 house costs you 2.4 million, 80,000. Right? And now what happens is, let's say, you know, may Allah protect us all. You get COVID, you get sick, you lose your job, you get banned online, whatever. You can't make your payment. They take your down payment. They take your house. They kick you out. They foreclose on it. They don't give you a penny. They take your credit. You can't even get a cell phone anymore. They own you. you see, this is this is oppression. This is slavery. It's modern day slavery. Because now, let's say you you sneak or you say, you know what? I want to go out to Africa and dig wells, and I just want to do good charity work for a year. Well, if you got a mortgage and your car's on payment, you can't. You can't leave your job because you got to work to make those bankers rich. That's what I, I really like about Islam is that all the business that you do, it's really important that it's all honorable. You can't do anything, sell anything to generate. You can't snake anybody. What I read in the, in the Talmud, and I'm not sure if you've studied Judaism, um, and I don't know if this is true, but I'm, they, they don't believe, what I read in the Talmud is that they don't believe that it's a, it's a sin to lie to people who are goy. They think that Boy, like, yeah. it, that's what it, I'm, I don't know if I'm misquoting, but in the Talmud I read that the Jews think it's 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 okay to deceive people who are non-Jewish. Yeah, I mean, uh, I studied Judaism a little bit when I first went, went on my own search for the truth. I, I went to a, a temple Bethel in San Diego, and I tried. And, and to be honest, they weren't very interested in me learning about their faith. You know, they were kind of like, "Eh, don't become Jewish. It's horrible." You know, like. Okay. Because it's an ethno religion. They don't want people who are not Jewish to become Jewish because you're you're not actually a Jew, you're just Jewish. It's a, yeah, it's but that, a that's kind of racist, right? But that's what they believe. Like it, 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 there you go. And, and Islam Islam is the only religion that I've found that fixes the race problem. Since going to the mosque, right? you see people like coming from work, all different colors and everything like that, everybody's standing next to each other, and nobody feels you know any sense of superiority. There's no ethnocentric ideas about it. If some people have criticized saying that um uh, like I, I showed pictures of um, the Nigerian, um, or no, of the Pope kissing the, the feet of the Nigerian president, um, basically like him bowing down to, as a political play. And then someone oh. criticized me saying, well, uh, Muslims are always submitting to the, the oil shakes are in charge. Like the, but no, that they have nothing to nah. do. They have nothing to do with, like it, just because they're rich doesn't make them a, as a hierarchy or have a position of power in Islam. Uh -huh. The Pope, there's actual positions of power in Christianity. They have- Yeah, uh, I mean- Look, e even our scholars, we love our scholars. We don't go and kiss their feet. I mean, we don't we don't go and bow to them. Uh, the oil rich people, we don't. I don't even know who who they are, and I've never had any any inclination to try to bow down to any of them. Right? In Islam, we we have a very spiritual, direct relationship with our Creator. Every time I pray, it's a direct conversation with my Creator. If I confess, if I sin, I don't have to go to a priest and tell him, "Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned," and this and all that kind of stuff. We don't have that. We have that direct relationship. We don't go and you will never see. And if you do see a Muslim putting his head down to anybody but Allah, then that Muslim doesn't know what he's doing. That's mm -hmm. rejected. You'll never see a Muslim go even to a king to put his forehead down. Never, never. Even, you know, we had the king of Saudi Arabia named Abdullah before uh, I read something from him where people would come just to kiss his hand. Like, you know, out of respect, he told them, no, if you want to kiss, kiss the hands of your parents. Don't kiss my hand. Like, that's how we are about that the prophet muhammad the prophet our beloved prophet he said that nobody should prostrate to anybody the companions wanted to prostrate to him he said no not even me right so as muslims we don't have that and in islam you know we're told to be honest not to deal with interest not to deal with 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 uh, you know alcohol or pork or drugs or things that are harmful and and, and we don't have the scapegoating idea that like back in the days when i was a gang member i can tell you uh, Friday night, Saturday nights, we would do all kinds of craziness, you know, everything that you can imagine. And then Sunday morning, we'd be in church and we'd go into this little box and there'd be a dude on the other side. And we'd be like, forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. I stabbed a dude last night. We kidnapped somebody, that, you know, this and <laughs> right. Seriously, I'm not even playing. I know, right? we used to I know. Go down to Tijuana. And then 
the priest would be like, well, don't do it. Take these many Hail Marys. Ten donate. Hail Marys, and then you forget for Sabbath. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and I would tell the priest myself, I would tell him, look, Father, let me just be honest with you. You know, I'm a gang member. This is what we do. I mean, I'm, I'm not stopping this. And he would tell me, well, see you next Sunday. <laughs> you know? So you know, you'd walk out the little box. Oh, I'm forgiven. Jesus died for my sins. I confess. I'm good. You know? ah, no, that's just, it's, it's fooling yourself. As a Muslim, you know, yes, we believe that the right belief is, is the entry into heaven, but we still have to strive and struggle. One of the most beautiful chapters in the Quran, inshallah, it's in the end of the Quran, a very short chapter called Wal'ath, time. Right? It says, Wal'ath, innal insana lafi khusr. Allah takes the oath by time that all of mankind is going to be in loss. People, most people, they're heading in the wrong direction. Illa ladina amanu, except those who believe. The first thing, if you know what's right, you have to have the right belief. But then Allah doesn't stop there. Illa ladina amanu wa amilu salihat, and those that do righteous deeds. So as a Muslim, I'm always trying to do good deeds. It's not, it's not just fooling myself saying salvation is free, you know, and then that's it. No, I want to be the best person I can. Sorry. Be. And that's, no that's the, the most important part. Um, I, I, I've noticed that um, just I feel more like, like I want to do good more in the world. I want to contribute nice. more. Like I, I want to be more gracious to everybody. Uh, I just want to be a better I just want to contribute more because it's it's extremely important. Like if there's a lot of ideas in the Quran that are explained that make more sense to me, like um, the concepts of spirituality and karma, uh, stuff that, that you hear in the West a lot of the time, it's just it's explained logically um, because this that's just what Allah wants you to do. That's just that's what we're supposed to do as a creation. Um, would you be Allah bless you and protect you? Would you be okay uh, right. um, debating somebody that I, I don't know if you're prepared to do a debate right now, but there's a, a Christian that I bring been... him, bring him, bring him. Okay, I don't need to prepare. So I ask Allah to protect us. Have you ever lost a debate? And and what do you? Where do you see people shift? Like where do people make the final um, decision to to revert after having a conversation like this? When when, when do you see most commonly people shift from being a non-believer to a believer? Um, have I ever lost a debate? I, I don't think so. But I mean, I, I don't really go out to win or lose debates. I, I go to convey a message, right? And I hope from Allah that Allah will continue to make me a means of guidance for people. That's all I really care about. Uh, I'm not really a professional debater. I'm, I'm a die. I call towards Allah. Sometimes I have to debate just because we want to clarify misconceptions. But... Oh, sorry. there yes sir hold up let me pop it out wakey wakey how you doing good morning <coughs> you, you, you smoked too many cigarettes yesterday <coughs> uh, my bad he, he doesn't uh, no I, let, let me call him okay so this is uh this is a muslim scholar shake is he on the call right now He's yeah. There come he on. Salam alaikum. Wa alaikum. How you doing? I'm this good. Is, I heard it this is Zerka. He's a Christian. Stuff. Yeah, yeah, I've seen your stuff before, and Sneeko's like forcing nice. me in here. He's like forcing me. This is like jihad. He's trying to kill me if I don't do this. <laughs> uh, I saw you guys just, insulting. Just, 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 hold on, hold on. I saw you guys hold insulting on, on. Christ. What are you guys insulting hold on, hold on, Christ hold on. for? Hold on, hold on. Take, take, take a step back, bro. First thing, <laughs> jihad doesn't mean killing. It's jihad means to make a struggle, right? Qital, the word qital is to fight. I, I to know that. Clear. I already know that. I know. I'm just making it clear. Second thing, I would never insult Christ. Peace and blessings be upon him. I love Jesus. I love Jesus. Well, no, you, you, said, love you, said Abraham. Forgi- you said the whole asking to repent and then forgiveness, that's all, that's all stupid to you, right? I did not say that. I, I said confessing to a priest and then feeling that I can go do whatever I want just because I said Hail Mary's is, is, is ignorant to me. Mm-hmm. Nico, correct me if that, that's what I that's said. That's exactly what he said. Yeah. So I mean, like, I, but, but I believe why? in asking for forgiveness, but I ask from God. I know, but what's the point of critiquing a Christian system when you, every single Muslim runs to Christian countries, like everyone wants to live oh. with Christians, right? right. So, so, so let me, let me, let me just, quantify what you're saying you're saying every single muslim 
that on one point yes. eight billion <laughs> Muslims. Every single one. Yes. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Take it, take it easy, bro. We're gonna have a conversation. The way you have a conversation is you speak, I listen, I speak, you listen. How's that? I know you what you're gonna. Here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna say every yeah. single, all, every billion. You know what I mean. Like, don't waste our time. I, I I don't know what you mean because I'm gonna go by the words that are coming out of your mouth. So, if you were gonna say something, then mean it. All right. Okay. So, how about lots, on, on. lots and lots? Zerka, please, please be respectful. Please be. Please be respectful. I got. You. Why were you guys being you. respectful with Christ? One hundred percent. Yes, we were. Every I time. Was every time we say his name, we say peace and blessing upon him. Right, right, right. Yeah. You, secondly, you, secondly, many Christians migrate to Muslim countries. You know, well, if you go know, look where? at where. <laughs> all right. Let, let me look at. Let me speak. Listen, and then we'll have this conversation. You feel me? Now, when you talk about migration, if you look at history first and foremost, many Europeans migrated to the Middle East in different times. There are Europeans that migrated to Africa many times. When there are wars, the people become refugees, they do migrate, and that happened. And today, today, to date, in Malaysia, I was in Malaysia recently, there are Christians from Indonesia, there are Christians from Vietnam, they come and migrate there and work there, and they live there. So don't talk yeah, but about... I'm a, listen, look, I'm hold a on, refugee. No, I'm a refugee, and I'm not talking about refugees. I'm talking about every single Saudi that has a good life wants to come to the U.S. True? Look, that is absolutely not true. Every single Saudi wants to come to the U.S. Yeah, I, have you been to Saudi the, Arabia? Not the royals, not the billionaires, look, look, not, just not, the not, regular not, Saudi would love to be look, in the U.S. Right? Look, you, th this is not a fact. It's not true. May, I have been to. Have you been to Saudi Arabia? Not yet. Okay, I have been to Saudi Arabia. Many, many Saudis came to the U.S. They studied in the U.S. They got their degrees from the U.S. They went back to Saudi Arabia. And they happily lived there. I know them personally. They had opportunities where they could have lived in the U.S., but they chose not to. Saudi Arabia, the first world country, if you go there, you look at their train system, you look at their welfare system, you look at their hospitals, you go to Dubai. Have you been to Dubai? No. Have you been to Kuwait? No. Have you been to Qatar? No. You know how many Filipinos and others, non-Muslims, go and migrate to Qatar, migrate and go and work and live in those countries? Yeah, so but you if don't they know what you're talking about. You don't know what? Choose, Dubai, all the employees. Choose. Most of the, the... If they could choose... If, if who could choose? It, let's say if they had... They could go anywhere, right? They could just get... They could go anywhere in the world. Okay. Most, pe most people on Earth go to the cross. Like, this is like a fact. That is not true. That's not that true. Is Actually, not a fact. Yeah, that, in Dubai, if you look at all the employees, when uh, the Philippines is an extremely Catholic Christian country, they are dominating all the, the workforce in Dubai, which is a, a Muslim nation, Muslim city. But not just Not just that. If you look at those countries, even if you look at Europe, Europe runs on immigrants. Have you been to like France? Have you been to Norway? Have you been to Switzerland? They these countries colonized these other countries. They caused wars. Syria, Iraq. We caused these wars. We caused these situations. Iraq had I, not attacked us, right? I don't know. I agree. Iraq is all so, bush. So, no, okay. So 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 when you go and attack a country and you destroy the infrastructure and you bomb the hell out of it and you and you get rid of the police. And you, and you make a situation, then those refugees are going to go. And they don't just come to Christian countries. You're wrong. Go to Turkey. You will find Syrian refugees. You will find Iraqi refugees. In Pakistan, we have uh, Somali refugees. You just yeah, haven't so, read. So let me get this right. You, you, you Assyri haven't been around. A Syrian refugee on. would rather hold go to on. Turkey. A Syrian refugee would rather go to Turkey than Canada. I know. I can give you the name of a Syrian who was a U.S. citizen that just moved to Turkey. I'll give you his name. He's from San Diego. Is He's his name dentist. anecdote? No, it's not anecdote. It's Dr. Saad. He moved to Syria, to uh, Turkey. Many people from the U.S. right now are leaving the U.S. Do you know that? Because U.S. has become gay. That's why. <laughs> there right? you go, right? So Yeah, but so no, no, hold on, hold on. moving to Muslim countries like Turkey from the U.S. Right? So, anyway, when, what's this got to do with what's got to do with the Bible? Let, let's get to the religion. 
Let, let's talk about that. You're a Christian? Wait, can we... Where, where, oh, hold on, hold on. Because, because you, you don't want to discuss the actual religion. You just want to talk okay, about... Okay, let's do it. Let's, you want to do religion? Let's but do also, four wives. Also, let's start at four wives. Okay, let's start at four wives. Let's do okay, it. You're, you're can Christian? Can I ask you one you, question? Hold on. Go ahead. Can you love four women the exact same way? That's your question? I'm going to respectfully now first listen to you. So when I answer, you're not going to interrupt me, right? Okay. Can somebody love four women? Sure. Can somebody love as a father loves his children, who may be many, but he loves them all? You might have more emotions towards one than the other. That might be true. And Allah does not hold you accountable for that which you have no control over. But can you be just and fair? Definitely. I know many people that have multiple wives that are just and fair between their wives. Your okay, I don't doubt. I don't doubt now, that. Now, no, no, no. Now, I answered your yeah, question. I, I have a question it. for you now. I have a I question wait. for you. Can I follow? Let me follow up. No, 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 no. no. I answered your question. I'm it. not changing subject. I'm not changing the topic. I swear, I'm not changing. The topic. I'm gonna. Ask, are you a Christian? I would say I defend Christians, but I'm that's the not worst. the question. I don't think I'm a Christian because I'm evil. I'm a bad. I drink alcohol and I party, and it's bad. So why don't you leave all that and become a Muslim? Honestly, seriously, become a better what, person. What? Stop alcohol. What, stop smoking. You know. Yeah. Pray the way Jesus. But the, you believe Bible is the word of God? Yes, because I believe okay. that. That I believe. You said that, yes. Okay. Oh my God. Okay. Now the question, you said yes, right, Sneeko? You yeah, said yes? He did. I heard it. In the Bible, is, how many wives did listen, Abraham listen. how many how many wives did Solomon have in your Bible that you said is the word of God? I, I don't care because uh, of all oh, you don't care about the care. Bible. You brought it up. <laughs> you brought it up. Can I answer? No, I'm answering. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, go ahead. Go ahead. Every, We're gonna listen. We're gonna respect all you. the all the prophets are sinners. All the except Christ, because Christ is God. You you agree? But Christ is a prophet. Was, At least was, you agreed to that. No no, no 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 no. Do you agree that Jesus Christ was sinless? Okay. You want me to answer? Okay. First thing, I believe all prophets were protected from sin. I don't believe. <laughs> yeah. You you ask what I believe, then that's what I believe, right? I don't believe the biblical narrative that that talks about Lot having sex with his daughters. I don't believe that. All right. Because Lot's called a righteous servant in the New Testament, by the way. But again, that's getting off topic. The question that you brought up was about four wives. And I'm going to stick to the question. Yes, stay How there. many wives... I, I'm, bro, I'm there. How many wives did Solomon have in the Bible? I don't remember. I'm not a scholar. 700. 700? He's satanic. Oh, 700. King Solomon... Wait, wait, who Solomon he, is satanic? Wait, wait. Did, didn't he You just call him satanic? What the... Didn't he... Well, yes. Did it, didn't he build a temple You channeling demons? Or am I crazy? You're crazy. But that's a different issue. Now, you uh, said I'll he's leave. satanic. All right, here, here, here. This is your Bible. This is your Bible now, all right? Second Samuel 7, 13. You said he's satanic. You said he's a sinner. You said all this. So this is from your own Bible. Nico, bust out your Bible, bro. So wait, I can wait, wait, wait. Hang, on, hang on, hang on. Hold on, man. Let me read your verse. Oh, from right. your Bible, man. Relax. The kryptonite for Christians is here. Second <laughs> Samuel 7, 13. He shall build a house for my name. God is saying about Solomon. And I will establish the throne of his kingdom forever. I will be his father and he shall be my son. Yeah, but do you see what you're doing? Like, you know, Christians cool. marry one That's woman, right? You know, Christians marry I, one woman, right? First thing, that's, you know, that's again, in the Bible, actually, too. That's not true. Where is it? Show oh, me. We have, do we have to go right well, Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Show me in the Bible that Christians marry one woman. I have to go find a Bible in this house. Well, right go now? find it. Go find it, bro. Oh, just. You're not, you're, you're not going to make so, claims oh, about oh, evidences right. with me. That, that doesn't fly with me. No, you're you're just going to throw stuff Bible out. Every you know, Muslim wants to come to the US. Every Saudi wants to come. No, you're just throwing stuff out, and I'm going to call you on it. I'm going to okay. call a speed a spade. You tell so me the Bible says you can only have one wife. Bible to marry I, one woman only and look, have kids with them? I'm, I'm, it doesn't look, say that? You made, you made a statement. You bring the proof. I made a statement. Oh I bring God. the proof. That's how it works. He got bro. the receipts. Now, you, you guys woke me out of bed receipts. to do this. Uh, you said victim yes. out of bed. Victim, victim, we, victim, we, victim. Out of bed. We, we woke you woke you out of bed to make that Allah guides you to the truth so, wait, to be a better so, person, to stop drinking. To stop so, womanizing, to stop out being out there. Alhamdulillah. So, Nico, now, he just had a threesome. I'm, I'm, 
Look, what Sneeko does is not the, is not a, the, the issue of debate here. What's in the religion is what we're discussing about. So throwing accusations, I'm not about it. Let's talk about me and you and the religion. Now, how many wives did Jacob have in the Bible? Nine. How many wives? No, four, man. <laughs> you're not right up on your Bible, bro. Oh, right? dude, no, I'm not a no. scholar. Shit. I, I'm not saying you're a He's scholar. He's just a defender but, of Christianity. But the question, Mr. Defender, is could Solomon love all 700 the same? Who God praised him and established his throne and said he's a father to him, right? Could Jacob be to be uh, any equal to all four of them? Well, I, right? well here's a psychological question. What if, like, let's say my let's say I have four wives, and my son sees me loving one more than the other, and don't you think it gets a little like weird, bro? It doesn't, <laughs> right? First thing, your relationship with your wife. Um, you ask the question, I'm going to answer, right? Your relationship with your most the vast majority of Muslims don't have more than one wife anyway. I know you secondly, have to say that. You secondly, have to because you're ashamed. No, I, I'm not ashamed at all. I'm you just telling most, you. Stop, most don't bro. actually do this. Most don't do this. They, most of look, them don't have four. Look, I'm just telling you a fact. I'm not ashamed. I, alhamdulillah, nothing in Islam is there for me to be ashamed about. Then why? I'm going to ask you about the Bible a little bit more. Why would why I? would you walk it back and say, well, most don't have four? I, 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 I didn't. I didn't walk anything back. I was just making a statement. That's bro. just Relax. true. That's okay? just something true. Now, look, if somebody in, in the U.S., you live in the U.S., right? Where do you live? Yeah. Yes. What city? LA. L You're in LA. Okay. The most satanic you city. Me, you tell me how many Christians, how many Christians that go to church go and have affairs? How many Christians that go to church go and pick oh, up prostitutes? How Americans many Christians are that go to church? Americans are now, now, you tell me when a son finds out that his dad has been sleeping with a tranny at night in a hotel, <laughs> even though he's a preacher at church, is that more damaging? Huh? Or is it that my father's got two wives? Or uh, I mean, they do it in Saudi too, right? There's a lot of gayness nope. in Saudi. Yeah, look, look. You go to Saudi. You haven't been there. I've been there. No, I have, go, we'll go to... I have friends who say look, there's look, a lot of homosexuality look, 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 there too. Look, look, look you look. disagree with that? You're... Hold on. I do disagree with that. It, you have to quantify a lot. If you're talking about San Francisco, then definitely I disagree with that. But that's not the point. I've been to Saudi. I've never seen a strip club in Saudi. I've never seen a whorehouse in Saudi. I've never seen a massage parlor in Saudi. None of that. Saudi is a very clean society. They're not perfect. They have their ills like any other society. Saudi is not an example for us. But if you're going to compare the U.S. and the kind type of of uh, you know the the, the 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 moral degradation of having affairs, preachers, priests molesting boys and all that, if you're going to compare that and Saudi, Saudi is great. No, right. I'm not. If Actually, you, if you haven't right. been there, you're right. You're right that the West well, is least, way worse that, than. Uh, all right, Muslim good, parties. good. At, at least you but admit that I'm it, right about holding. We're is making weird, progress. It, it's it's weird that you're gonna meet God and God's gonna be like, so one penis, one vagina, and sex for a child, and you messed that up, and you did four vaginas, one penis. Like it's so obvious. I have you're supposed, no idea what you're so talking about. It's so obvious humans are supposed <laughs> to be in pairs. It's so obvious humans are supposed to be in pairs. Okay. It's too obvious. And it's so obvious that you even have to say, most Muslims don't do the four wives thing, John. Okay. Actually, most of them just do the pair because it's better, right? I, I did you not agree. say it's better, better, right? He never said that. Hold on, hold on. Did I say Muslims don't do the pair is better? I did not. Don't put words in my mouth. John, hold on, hold on. Say what I said. It even... It, there's studies that show to fight Alzheimer's and aging, a partnership is what you need. You need a wife. Great. Right? Okay, great. Then get a wife. Islam doesn't tell you got to get a second. But, but there I'm are saying, situations. How is, it, how is it the word of God if it's met? If, 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 it, if it's uh, four wives. You. you know what I mean? How's that I the word you. of God? I got you. Just like you said, this is the word of God, and Jacob had four wives. So, how is this the word of God? Why are you such a hypocrite? That you're not addressing your own book that you said is the truth and trying to criticize for something I mean, what, that is what, more what? evident. Hold on, hold on. Let me finish, bro. Come on. I listen to you. You listen to me. If you are trying to discredit Islam for having four wives, then discredit it your Bible first. What Christian has four wives today? Which I, know, one? I know Christians with multiple wives. Yeah. No, I you don't. Look. Stop. Man. I do. Stop I do. It. Stop. Look, John, Dude, John, stop. let's now call you're a lying. state a state. Stop look, it. I'm gonna call Mormons, it state right? of state. No, no, Mormons, no, no, no. those are for, Christians. Those are Freemasons. Oh, now, now, now you're trying to 
throw Mormons, Mormons off the bus. Mormons they, believe they think in they're Christians, live. right? Look, you can't block look, them in. Let me let me ask you something. I know Christians personally, Christians that I grew up with that had multiple wives. Right? You want to meet them? Come to San Diego. I'll introduce you. Oh, liberal Call Christians. It. Look, look, now you're trying to throw different Christians under the bus. I'm calling you out. They're gay. Whoa, 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 bro, bro, don't talk about San Diego. That's my city, homie. And we ain't Isn't gay. Isn't that a gay right? city? Isn't there a lot of gayness? It's not. It's not. Your LA is gayer than us, our San Diego. Rep I'm not from it's LA. Not. I know LA is gay. I don't protect that. All right, all right. Well, then go for it. But but don't be hating on my city. You want to come to San Diego, come see it. America's, no. America's gay. Every city in America is gay. All right, bro. Then leave. Then come go back Pakistan, to Canada, bro. We got you. I'm, I'm trying to go to Dubai. Wait, oh! wait, 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 wait. What? Yeah. <laughs> you know, in Dub I love how... Like, no, bro, I love Dubai because, like, everyone... Christian, in it's not a good old Muslim country. Yes, yes, yes. Because check this out. No, I said Dubai. Listen. Because Dubai is in, Muslim? In, no, no, but listen. New, news in, flash. In the in UAE Dubai, is a majority Muslim country. Except except nobody actually practices it. <laughs> but that's, that's actually wrong. No, that's not true. Why are you lying about a place you haven't been to? Look, 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 John, 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 I've been to Dubai. I've been to Ras Al Khaimah. I lived uh -huh. there for over a year. I've been to Sharjah. I've been to Al Ain. I've been to Fujairah. I've, I've been all over the UAE. There are mosques in every corner. There are religious people. If oh, you go yeah. in Ramadan, Nobody's the whole country is... When, when you walk around, there, right? when you walk around Dubai, of, of course, right? there's some degeneracy in a major city, especially... Um, everywhere. Everywhere. Look, everywhere. But at what? the same time, you, you insinuating that there's no Muslims in Dubai is, is actually stupid because you will hear the prayer call. You will hear what time of day you're supposed to pray, even walking around Dubai Mall, which is the most populated place with tourists. Islam is definitely prevalent in, in Dubai. Anybody who's actually been there will agree. Look, look, just because there are people who party in a country doesn't mean they're not Muslim. You don't take theory, man. Take it easy, right? Now, let's go back to scripture because this is what you like to run from, right? Let me ask you something about the Bible because you said this is the word of God that you believe in, right? You know uh, why I think it's your, the word of God? Oh, whoa, oh, whoa, oh, whoa. Oh, trying to run? Trying to run? Is that what it is? No, do, what? Do I hear, all right. Well, I'm not going to be here all day, but I got things to do. So, all right. Exodus. No, you don't. You're a Exodus. scholar debating Zerka. <laughs> he has to get more dollar to convert more people. You're a scholar debating Zerka. You got nowhere to go. Who, who's Zerka? I didn't, I didn't even tell. He doesn't know who you are. He's here to talk to me. <laughs> I don't know. We're here, we're here to who's have Zerga? a conversation. You don't have nowhere to go. You have nowhere to go. Who, who, who's Zerka? That's, Zerka. that's Zerka. my point. That's my point. You're a scholar on a call with Zerka. <laughs> look, look, let me let me explain something. I'm a student of knowledge, and this is my brother Sneeko. And alhamdulillah, we had a conversation. And alhamdulillah, Sneeko had a threesome and I, the other and, day. Are you going to yell at him? Look, 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 look. In Islam, we don't try to expose people's sins. Whatever somebody does, that's between them and God. Yeah, but Sneeko it's, goes it's around telling me to repent. Look, he tweets look, at me, look, he says, Zerka, you got to repent. He's, what he's saying is true, and you should repent. And really? just trying but to call him out. He had sex with that, two non Muslim that, women that, at that, that, same that, damn time. Look, He's look, had look, sex. If, if that's true, that's between him and God, and he should repent. But that doesn't make it okay for you to do your sins. Don't throw it on him. So why no, is he telling me to repent as he's having on. sexual intercourse? All right, all right. Good, you good, publicize good. it. You, you, I'll, you, I'll respond good, good. because Zerka publicizes it and he, make his, he makes it his image. He'll say that I'm a Christian, but I'm not a Christian. I'm a Christian defender. I do coke and I sleep with uh, prostitutes, stuff like this. But also I'm a Christian <laughs> defender. You call yourself evil. You call yourself evil by entering oh, this call. Wait, what Zerka, did I say? Zerka, listen, 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 listen. You, you, yes, if sir. you want to discuss Nico's personal life, talk to him offline. I'm here to discuss scripture Is with Nico you. Is Nico a good Muslim? And, now, uh, I I hope that everybody's a good Muslim. That's Muslim. I judge that's, people. That's a political I answer. I, I don't. That's not a political answer. That's an Islamic answer. In Islam, we don't assume bad about people. What I see, there is a difference. What I see from Sneeko is he's Muslim. I assume good about him. What his personal life is, I don't Bro, dig into. That's every YouTuber who is a now, Muslim listen, is like listen, listen, very degen. Uh, look, I'm on YouTube and I'm not a degenerate. Alhamdulillah. So, Exodus. Now, because this is what you run from. Exodus 21, 20. And if a man beats his male or female servant with a rod so that he dies under his hand, he shall surely be punished. Notwithstanding, if he re remains alive a day or two, he shall not be punished for he is his property. This is oh, your word of God. Days? And if, if he'll stay alive for a day, 
from that beating, then there's no punishment because that man is another man's property. Yes. If a, if a man owns a slave, male or female, and beats him with a rod so bad that they mm-hmm. die a day later, there's no punishment in the Bible. Now, you, they, you believe this to be the word of God? Absolutely. Wow. Yeah. Now, I, well, got, I got a question. That's Christianity uh, for you. Then? <laughs> moderator, moderator. Yeah, go, go for it. Go for it, bro. You know, how, you, a moderator. Know, they, you know how in the Quran, Allah has all these other names? Why is one of the yeah. names the deceiver? There is no name deceiver. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's the name in Arabic? Deceiver. Well, I'll, I, I, I'll have it? to post it on Twitter and tag you today. I'll go no, no, for it. No, 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 don't post it. You know Twitter. what I'm talking I'm about right. or no? I, I, I do You've know never what you're heard talking that about. before that, ever that, in your life? There is no name of Allah that means the deceiver. You, so you've never Allah's heard this Ar-Rahman? argument? Look, bro. I, I look. have a feeling you've heard this before. Listen, you want to hear? I'm going to speak, right? Allah's names, like Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim, the most merciful, the extremely merciful, Al-Wudud, the most loving, those are the names called Asma Al-Husna. What you're re- referring to is a verse in the Quran that talks about matter. And this, the earliest scholars, the clear Quran's explanation explains the meaning here is plot. The kuffar, they made their plans and plotted, and Allah had his plans, and he is the best of planners. And that's why if you get any standard English translation, whether it's Sahih International, whether it's Pixar, whether it's, uh, you know, you can go to Mohsin Khan or uh, Mustafa Khattab or any of those, you will find that this verse here means to plan. You don't know Arabic, I'm assuming. You don't know the names of Allah, I'm assuming. Oh, you just heard some Islamophobe say something somewhere without any references. You're just trying to throw it out. Now, you believe that God ordered that if you beat a slave so bad that they just live a day, there is no punishment because that's their property. That's what you believe? I mean, it's in the Bible, right? So that, that's what you like, believe 100%, you, huh? Like in your Quran, it says the sun sets in a muddy puddle. You believe that, It right? does not. Once oh, again, really? that's wrong. Or yeah, the, bro, you don't, you're a flat you, earther. You have to be a flat earther. because I am not a flat earther. But it says the earth is spread flat like a carpet. I already explained that earlier with this Nico. Really? Why don't you explain it right now? Explain it right now. I got you, bro. Or did I'll I get the Arabic right wrong? You did, but that's okay, too. No, the right? Quran is correct. It is flat. That. It is flat. You want me to answer, bro, or no? Yeah, I want to know the flat one. I got you on all of them. Look, there's nothing you're bringing up that's new here, other than a little bit of your ignorance, but that's all right. Right? So, now, when you talk about the muddy water, this is Dhul Qarnayn, who said he saw the sun setting in the muddy water. That is not that it's set. That's his sight. For example, if I go to the Pacific Ocean, like you're in LA, go outside, and you see the sun setting into the ocean, it doesn't mean the sun goes in the ocean. That's describing what you see. Okay. All right? that's, that's, that's the first misconception. That's, that's fair. I appreciate your fairness. All right, good, man. All right. Secondly, Al-Ardu Miyada, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says he spread out the earth. Not that it's flat or round as a, as a body, but rather Allah made it flat so you can farm, so you can use it, you can utilize it. No, no, no. In mean... Arabic, the word is bed, but it, beds were carpets back then. Like that, they'd sleep on very yeah. thin. So no, the no, word no, was no, no. flat listen, like a listen. bed. What's, what's the Arabic word? I don't know. Yeah, I did this. Know. I did this debate two <laughs> years ago. I did this debate uh, two you. years ago. I you expect you. me to remember you. this listen, debate from listen, two years ago? Listen. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Relax. Go get the Tafsir Ibn Kathir. It's in English. If you oh. don't know Arabic, so, and so, I, so any and time I bring the word any, and everything, any time I bring up an English translation, you'll say, "Actually, you got the word wrong. Actually, you got the word wrong. Actually, you, you got you the did. word. You don't know Arabic. Bro, you got the word wrong. That's all you guys ever do, bro. If you if you get the word wrong, what can I do? You're ignorant, bro." So right. the word flat the, the, in the there? Is the word flat no. in there? Oh it's spread out. You don't know, then you don't know. Spread well, out. It's spread out. Yes, yeah, go spread out it. a sphere. Let me explain it, right? The earth, for example, if it was all mountainous, we couldn't farm. We couldn't utilize it. Allah made the earth spread out so you can farm, you can utilize the land. Do you understand? It, okay. Now, <laughs> I've already answered this now, right? Now, <laughs> right. let uh, Thank you. Um, when we talk about the Bible, because you told me you believe in it, I want to yes, ask you. Yes, spent all day insulting it. I'm not insulting it. Am I just reading the scripture or am I insulting it? No, Nico, am I, I insulting or am I reading sneakers? He's, he's just reading verses of it. Oh, no, no, before I'm going to read scripture. 
But it doesn't make sense to repent for your sins and then go sin again. I You're never sinning. said that. Everyone I said, said it does not repent. make sense for somebody to go confess to a priest to a and think you're forgiven. A man, instead of repenting to God and thinking that Jesus died for your sins and you continue to live that crazy lifestyle, but, but to you, me that doesn't make are, sense. But, but what you don't understand, yeah. and you do agree with me here, humans must be Let me taught. Say. You, and hold on, hold on. Humans must be taught worship we all agree on that so confessing sure. to a priest might strengthen his prayer how is that stupid like are you kidding me that's you like if, if you go talk to an imam is that stupid or, or just go to god just that's the dumbest argument i've ever heard i'm respectfully listening to you when you're finished and i'll respectfully speak finished all right good now i have nothing against somebody going and speaking to a priest or a, or a preacher or an imam or a hindu whatever but to say, for me to repent, I have to go through some human, that's ridiculous. My relationship with God is direct. You I already pray do. to my creator. Whoa, whoa, again, you're setting, you're that's what a now, mosque now, is. Now, now, you already now, do. Now, you put a mosque. Now you're setting me off, you right? Really remember, remember, respectful conversation, how I listen you to you, right? To you already do that. I go to the mosque. I don't go to confess. The, you, the, if the, I want to confess, the, I have a direct relationship with my creator. Right, right. The Muslim youth don't go to an older imam? To confess? No, we don't have confession. No, no, no. For anything religious. They go, They what Look, do they go, play basketball? Yeah. Are you kidding me? Yeah, we, we, we do have a basketball court in the mosque sometimes. Yeah, we do sometimes. You want to come play with us? See if you can I would, ball. I will play with you guys, but every time All I right. do it on your guys' channel, you're disrespecting the Bible every single time. Look, every I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read the Bible. Not disrespectful. I'm going to read it, and then you tell me whether I'm disrespecting and whether you believe in it. Second Samuel 15, 3. Now go and attack Amulek and utterly destroy all that they have and do not spare them, but kill both man and woman, infant and nursing child, ox and sheep, camel and donkey. Do you believe in that? That was times of war. You understand? Uh, now, let me explain that. In times of war, you don't attack a people, you defend, right? And when you <laughs> attack, why would you kill infant children? In Islam, even in war, you can't kill children. You never kill children? <laughs> no, in Islam, it's haram to kill children. That's against Islam. <laughs> Stop. You're pretending. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm not I'm pretending, pretending anything. I'm telling you what Islam believes. Uh, I'm pretty sure all humans have done war and killing. Don't play the high. Sure, sure. Part. But this is scripture. But you guys this kill not... scripture. Okay, once again, once again. Now. Now, if a Christian goes and rapes a woman, I'm not going to blame Christianity for it. But when the scripture, scripture has it, then you got to defend it. Just to say Muslims have killed people, everybody has killed people. I, I agree with you there. But Islamic scripture, Islamic law forbids killing women and children and the innocent. Oh, so, so billions, and this scripture is telling you. Oh, so throughout history, every Muslim just read it wrong and millions and millions just, they killed millions. You're of saying them. Oh, it's not every here. Every Muslim... Every not, Muslim kills children? They kill, but go to war. Like, what? Look, look, look. Once again, do you know who the worst murderers in history were? Gay people. Freemasons. I don't know if Stalin, Stalin was gay or not, but again, Stalin, Mao, even if you go down to Hitler, these are not Muslim, right? But I'm not going to hold their action to... Christian, he was Catholic, he used the Bible. Yeah, bro, I, look it up. Are you you're yeah. a scholar? You what? Oh, Hitler oh, was a yeah. Christian? He the, was. The, the man I'm inspired by... Hold on, excuse me, stop. Don't interrupt. Yeah, now, now you're getting humiliated. Don't interrupt. Christian, you're saying Hitler was Christian, but he was inspired yeah. by... Nietzsche. He was inspired by the man who wrote the Antichrist, Nietzsche, and evolutionists. You... Are you joking me? Are you... Are you the done? guy who read are you Helena done? Blavowski... Are you done? You're going you're gonna to make Hitler a Christian? Done? That is... Are you crazy. done? Are you done? Yeah, go. Say he was uh, sponsored by the get, Vatican. Get, get, get your phone. Google it, bro. Hitler quoted the Bible in his speeches. That's how Christian he was. He had oh. the Iron Cross as his symbol. That's how Catholic Christian he was. Hitler, Look up Hitler, any... No, no, no. Hold on, hold on. Let me speak now. You, you want to talk about humiliated? You're the one that couldn't even Google this up before you spoke. Hitler was a homosexual in Munich. Where did you read that? There's so many documents. Where did you read that? Where did There's, you read that? I'll send You're you. You're just documents. making stuff up now. Okay, send it. To you. What? You don't know anything. 
You know, right. you think Look, Hitler was just banging Google, on Google Hitler, Google Hitler religion. Google it, all right? And then get back to me. Now, what about scripture now? We're not talking about people's religious action. Scripture. The Bible is saying kill innocent infant children. You think this is the word of God? No, I think infant the nursing I think, children. I think the verses in the Quran about war, that's the word oh. of God. That's what I believe. Excellent. Okay, now, Sneeko, you heard Are that. you ever going to bring up the, the Quran? Quran is a, yeah, bring it. What verse? Yeah, bring what, it. Do you guys have any war verses? Or like how sure, to treat people them. when you take them bring over? Them. No, in you the bring them. You're the expert. Tell us. Okay, look, Educate look, us. The Quran says that prepare for war. But if they incline towards peace, you should incline towards peace. That's the Quran. That's based. That's based. I like that. Thank you. I appreciate that. Is that before or after they like killed everyone? Uh, that's neither of those because Muslims didn't kill everyone. If you look at what Muslims when they ruled Spain, hold on, let me speak. What about when slavery? Muslims ruled, oh, oh, bro, can I speak? I'm can I speak if you don't mind? Thank you. When Muslims ruled Spain, Andalus, go look it up. They didn't, they didn't kill everyone. But when the Spanish Christians under the cross took Spain, they had the Inquisition. Do you know what the Spanish Inquisition is? Yes, yes, yes. What is it? Uh, the Spanish Inquisition was evil, yes. and they raped and it? murdered everyone because they're all evil, who? and Muslims were the good who? guys who saved the world. The Spaniards. Who, who, who did? Were they Christians? Yes. Under the cross? Yes. And they genocided? Yes. Muslims and Jews? Thank you. Yes, I'm telling you, humans are born in a fallen state. They murder people. Do you disagree with that? Look, when you were talking Jesus, about Muslims, bro. you have now proven... The Christians is have been ISIS more murderous. Muslim? I know ISIS is Israel. That's what I believe. But huh? and then, then, then you've answered your own question. <laughs> but all right, what about the? If Taliban? that's what you believe, then why are you I'm asking me? My dream is for America to be just like the Taliban, but in a Christian, that's dream. in a theocratic Christian system. That's my dream. Huh? That's cool. That's your dream, then. Right. So, any other questions you got? Hmm. I guess. What's it going to take for you to convert right now? Like, what is your biggest problem with Christianity? Biggest one. I got you. Um, the belief that God has a son, or a son is God, or the Trinity, or the okay. Bible. Or okay. The, okay. Oh, okay. Let's, stop the name, name. Let's do the Trinity right. first. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. Here we go. Let's do it. But, the but, Trinity. But I, 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 no, I, let, me, let me just. The Trinity yeah. is your is your reality. Heaven, earth, the individual, which is you. Mother, father sun uh um gas liquid solid the trinity even down to the fucking atoms where everything has the trinity in it if the trinity don't it, you're saying it's three different gods right that's what you think it is are you done speaking i'm saying do you do you understand i, I don't that believe that it's three I in do. one you get that let me let me let me answer now you said father son child is the father is your father and mother the same person no. Okay, so they're different. Yes. Because oh. they're not divine. I got you. You gave the example of the Trinity, the father, son, and child in the family. No, so as, in, say, as in God is love. On, on, as in God on, is love. Like now, like now you're jumping. Now you're jumping. Now you're jumping. Like the are, family jump, unit. Jump, How are you not getting it? Jump, jump. Jump, jump, jump. Okay. Now, get back. Does oh. your father and does your mother have different minds? Different mindset. Are they different or are they the same person? Of course. The women Thank have you. a completely gotcha. different mind. Gotcha. And does the child, you, for example, have the same mind, same thinking, same person, same knowledge, same abilities as your father? Or are you different and your father is different? The child is different, but if the child is smart, he becomes just like his father. Guys. Still with but a different, different mind, though. I'm, Still I'm, different minds. Sometimes, sometimes he might be better, right? A child may supersede their father, right? Usually. And then what you have proven is the Trinity to be false because the Christian doctrine is they're co-equal. They're one person. They're not three different people, right? Every example you give, heaven, earth, gas, every example you give, give different elements that have different characteristics. They're not equal. They're not the same. So if uh, God uh, and Je hold on, let me finish, bro. Let me finish. I listen to you. You listen to me. If God and Jesus are the same, one person, co-equal, then if God knows everything, Jesus should know everything, right? 
Yes. Oh, you're going to say he didn't know what time it is, right? Nope. What are you going to say? Let me see. Uh, from your scripture, or you want me to speak? You want to see scripture? I don't know. You're not a very scripture read guy. Huh? No, I have ADHD. Yeah. I'm not a scholar. Okay, I got you. In Mark 13, 32. But of that day and hour, no one knows, not even the angels in heaven, nor the Son, but only the Father. So if the Father knows about the hour of the coming for Jesus' return, and Jesus, as the Son, according to your scripture, doesn't know, they're not the same. The Trinity is destroyed here. Well, what, what about the other nine million verses where it says you, Go you ahead. can... Go which verse? You go through the Father, through the Son. You, you just get no part problem. Off. I, no, 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 no. First thing, you have just proven a contradiction in your own Bible then. You haven't answered the verse. You're trying to jump to another verse, right? Answer the verse. And I'll answer yours. If the son doesn't know, how can they be co-equal? How can they be the same person if one knows something and the other doesn't? I don't know, but one thing... That you why, don't know. That's the answer. I, here's why I can never be a Muslim. That's your answer. If I became a Muslim today, I would have to see Jesus as just a man, right? As a prophet. Yeah, but a prophet, but a man, right? The Human. Son of man. That's what that's what it's called in the Bible, right? The Muslim, I would have to say, oh my God, there's one man on earth who has a larger name than my God. Who's that? Christ. He doesn't have a larger name than God. What are you talking about? I thought he is God. Bro, He's people big, are... Bigger than <laughs> what? How many Christians wait, wait. are on earth? How many hold Christians on, are Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Christians believe in God, right? Wait, how many Christians? Are there more Christians or Muslims? Hold on. Hold on. I got to know. Believe, it, it, you earlier said Mormons are not Christian. You, see, you earlier right. were throwing... Hold on. He's I'm not running. Finish. He's so, establishing I, one thing. Before we go to the population, let's I, answer one thing at a time. I got you. I'm going to answer the population. So I never run. Mormons. You never you run. About Mormons? Let, me, let, me, let me explain. If you're going to take Christianity... And you're going to take the sections out. You're saying Mormons are not Christian. They're Freemasons. Dude, you're not answering uh, it, bro. This is bro, Mormon. let me speak and I'll answer. And if you take Catholics and Christians, Protestants as two religions, then definitely there's more Muslims in the world. But that's not the no, point. No, but I said the you're name saying, of Christ is larger on, than the on. name of God. Are you crazy, bro? Every Christian knows the word of God. Is Allah's word name God? larger and than Christ? Course. Is Listen, Allah's name larger me, than Jesus Christ? Can I respond? And you I have respond. to go through the population can of how many people I believe. Respond. Can I respond? You're not responding. Do you know in the Arabic Bible what's the name of God? Oh, I knew you'd do this, bro. Oh, my what semantics, bro. What is it? It's not semantics. It's Allah. <laughs> in the Arabic Bible, it says Allah. So the word Allah is definitely more popular, more known, and more believed in than anything else. God is the greatest, no doubt. Mm. Now, what you're running from is your own scripture. The fact that your trinity was destroyed by your own scripture, is you're Jesus running from Is Jesus' name it. bigger you're than Allah's right now it. in 2023? Is it bigger right now, this second? Once again, once again. You're so once political, Once dude. again, you're once so again, political, once again. Man. The reason you you're saying this is because you, you can't answer scholar, your own not, scripture. Scholars your own this. scripture, your own scripture. You your can't do it, can you? Destroyed your trinity, why, and that's why you're running. An answer. I already did you're answer. You're joking, bro, live. I did answer. Allah, is Jesus' name larger than Allah's right now? Are you done is with it, that? Is one man beating God? One man no, is beating God. No, not at all. No man is beating You said Jesus is God. Dude, hold on, hold on. No, no, I'm going How can through Jesus your legs. Beat God? I'm, going through, I'm helping Jesus you. Beat I'm literally God helping he you. He is God. I'm trying to help uh, you I, get there faster, I, I, I don't, dude. I don't, I don't need your help. You know I'm what good. I'm saying. You're let, running. Let, let's, You're let's so go by. running. Yo, Stiko, Stiko, please answer for him. You know what I'm trying to say. Go ahead. Is Stico, Jesus' answer. name bigger than God? No, is Jesus' name bigger than the Muslim God? Based is on it more how... popular? Is it more popular? Don't act stupid. You've answered this before, honestly. Why aren't you answering it now? Okay, but what do you mean bigger? Bigger in terms of... Oh, my of how... God. Don't destiny yet. You, what do you no, mean? No, 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 You've no, no, answered this a no. week ago, and you have to Do you mean directly. bigger by more people believing it, or yes, more, yes, by more yes. importance? Bite the bullet! Bite the bullet! Well, you just said that Mormons aren't actually Christian, what? and then a lot of Protestants don't believe right. that Catholics are Christian. So how can you right. really determine it if Christians are not even on the same page about anything? Right. Exactly. It, it has it not, not, not right you're now caught. affecting more lives than Muslim lives? Yes or no? What? 
What oh my mean? God, you guys are phony. What, 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 what do you No, no, what do you even mean? Correctly a week Look, ago, and now he's pretending he's forgot. The vast majority, the vast majority of Christians don't even believe in Jesus today. You go walk around America, but you're just saying affecting more lives. No doubt that Allah you, is changing uh, more lives, and more people <laughs> are becoming Muslim every day than any other religion. You, no, listen, pause, pause, that's pause. true. Listen, listen to him, Cope. He, listen to him, Cope. Huh? He said, oh, d just don't interrupt. You, I know why you just said that. You guys always say that. You just said, well, more people are becoming Muslim, so soon we're going to be Jesus. There's going to be more of us in nope. 20 years. I didn't say that. You're admitting, didn't say you're that. conceding the point. You're admitting it. You're literally I admitting it. You look, fell look, for look, it. Look, 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 listen, listen. And that's more I hate people are believing. Okay, I don't do you believe the world's do flat? I don't want to the world is flat? Absolutely. The more people believe the world is round or flat? The Quran the and more people, the, the more people Saudis believe the earth is round or flat. One of the biggest Look, Saudi scholars said the earth is flat. Nico. One of the biggest Saudi Nico. scholars. Hold on. Hold on. I'll Who? post on my name Twitter. I have name the link on my name. I swear. Right. I have, listen. I have, listen. I'll post listen. it. Okay, 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 okay. Do more, do more people believe the earth is flat or round? Oh, most people are stupid and in sin and evil. They think it's round. Yeah, they're globalists. Listen, they believe in a heliocentric model. Believe... Absolutely, you're right. But again, Absolutely. again, thank you. So then your point is mute. No, Whether because more people believe in Jesus or not doesn't matter oh, that, because you is, are saying more why would most it matter? people believe something why incorrect. Why would it matter? Now, it's see, the what name. is really it's the happening name people know it's not is you're running... From your own scripture, you're you haven't so quoted a single. You're, you're you haven't quoted so a single scripture. And you you know haven't what? brought a single verse of the Quran. You haven't bring this a certain a single I reference you, or anything you've said. You could have easily won this debate because you were doing so much better than me if you bit Thank that you. bullet. If you bit that bullet, and Look, here's what you, here's what you, I speak the truth. I don't no, try no, to no, win no. debate. You're I don't bite you didn't bullets to win debate. No, I answered it. Very explicitly. You wouldn't bite Allah, the bullet that there's more Allah people who, is who have been affected word. by Christ used than in right Arabic, now. You wouldn't even bite the by Christians, to refer to God. <laughs> and that means more people believe in Allah, God, than they do in Christ, than they do in Buddha, than any of that. What your problem is, you can't answer scripture, so you're hopping around. When oh, I showed you the, the Trinity being destroyed by your own scripture, you didn't give me any response. And you know, okay. no, no, but hey, hey respond, when I don't, oh, when respond I, to the scripture. When, except respond when I don't, scripture. when respond. I don't, yeah, I respond. Am. I am. Okay, go ahead. Nice so the easy. scripture nice shows what? Jesus Let me didn't know the what hour. The what is up with this guy? Let me respond. Go ahead. Listening. When I don't know something, I go, damn, I don't know, I'm just a man. You could not bite the bullet that Christ's name is larger in 2023. It's not. You're political, and it shows you're phony. You don't want to tell the truth. And Jesus said, let your yes mean yes, your no mean no. So if I don't know something, I don't know, man. I'm telling you. You know. You knew the answer, and you ran. You ran because you didn't want to look stupid. I know the I answer, don't mind looking and I stupid. gave you the answer. I, don't mind. I got you. Well, well, you do good at it, so don't worry about that. <laughs> but you, you, Wait, you're you, a scholar like master's you? degree. You're going I have on my a YouTube. In hadith, yeah. All now right, that cool. I now that All I right. beat you, right. you're going on my YouTube. Now that I beat you, uh, you're going to say cheese. One one message foundation. Come and subscribe. Got you. Listen, <laughs> listen, 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 listen. Now, now that you've said that, all I'm asking you. Is in your scriptures the fact that Jesus didn't know the hour, the Son didn't know, and the Father knew destroys the co-equal Trinity. Yeah. You agree? Yeah, yeah, I agree. Oh, it's it's like a poor job defending Christianity. Jesus and Muhammad out. is okay. like Muhammad was Nico, the truth. Nico, we can't hear you. Sinless? No, I'm good. Would you agree? You. Would you agree that like Muhammad had sins and all the prophets had sins and stuff like that? Just nope. regular life. I, I, and, I, and, I said and it but, earlier. But, but you, you think God forgave them? Like, oh, whatever. I, I didn't but, say but that. But you agree? The most common name in the world is Muhammad. That's a fact. Never, never got married. None of that. Once again, bro, getting married is not a sin. No, no, not married. No, no, I know. Getting married is not a sin. But I'm saying there's no human component to it. There was no sinning. There's none, none of that. Once again. Jesus, like Moses, like Abraham, like Muhammad, like every other prophet, peace and blessings be upon them, were protected from sin. I said it earlier, Jesus and I most, repeated it again. Why, why is Jesus the most like special in the Abrahamic faith? Why is he the biggest he's not. character? Why? He's not. Why is, Who told like, you that? You guys can't deny him. No one can deny him. 
Why? We, we don't we don't deny Nobody Moses. Denies we don't like, deny when you when you write special. in fact well, no, 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 more Lakers. people more now. people believe in Abraham than they do in Jesus. <laughs> Boom. End it. Stop it. Yeah, Stop Muslims, it. Christians, and Jews yeah. all believe in Abraham. Yeah, Jews yeah, don't exactly. believe in Jesus, yeah. right? Yeah, mo- Jews most, don't believe in Jesus. Most Muslims don't know anything no, look, about more people. people most Christians don't know anything about Abraham okay. than Jesus. It, you, your own agree. logic just we can agree you. here. Put that on your. That's YouTube. the biggest name. If you're gonna go by biggest name, hold on, hold on. by default, Abraham YouTube, is bigger than Jesus. Ahead, hold on, hold on. Put that on your YouTube. Hold on, most. Most Jews, Muslims, and Christians, most of them on earth, don't know anything about their books. We all know this. But that's not true. Everyone Muslims knows know their book. that all three tribes know the significance of Jesus. That's the Again, one everyone false. agrees on. Jews don't believe in Jesus. Jews say he was a bastard. That's their statement, not mine. Right. He was born out yeah. of wedlock. They don't believe in him. They yeah. curse him. I, so Jews true. don't believe in Jesus at all. Many of them deny that he was even a good person. They speak very ill of him. I was in Israel, may Allah free Palestine, and they told me this themselves. And you can see YouTube videos. So if you're going to go by a bigger name, then Abraham is believed by more people than Jesus. Your own yeah. logic just destroyed you. Destroyed you. Put yeah, that on your a, YouTube, bro. You, you're right. Put you're right. There's a YouTube. lot of. You're Thank right. You. There's a lot. There's a lot of people right. praying for Abraham. <laughs> but it's look, not about prayer. Look, You've said it about the name. Believe in him. You said believe the size of the name. Look, you're you're look, doing their look, Santa Claus look, argument, dude. Look, look, believe look, in look, him. Bro, bro, bro you break. got caught. You got caught on your own channel. Post it. Have a good day. Are you hurt? Are you hurt? No, no, I'm good, bro. Right, look, final question. <laughs> Is Jesus Christ's name bigger than every other God right now? Go. No. Phony. Okay. There you go. Well, uh, <laughs> I, I understand it, that he's a little bit of a headache to debate or to have a conversation right. with, but it's yeah. He calls he, he's a defender of Christianity. I've had him on a lot of panels recently, so I thought that that was uh, that was it, that, that must have been really entertaining for the audience. I know that that was you know it was entertaining for me. I hope you enjoyed. I, I think you did a, a good job. No, no, I did. Yeah. Look, for us. We're not just here to try to make points to win debates and defend things just to defend. It's about telling We're the truth. To, oh, Telling the truth, quoting scripture, showing evidences, you know, no doubt that if you take scripture into consideration, the Trinity makes absolutely no sense. And the co-equal concept of God that Christians put, even young Don, and, and again, shout out to young Don for being honest and, 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 and open enough to go and post and say that he no longer believes that Jesus is equal to God. And that's a great step. And again, shout out to him. If he ever wants to talk offline, doesn't matter. I'm here, you know, I think it's, it's a step in his journey. May Allah guide him and guide us to the truth. And in the end, everybody watching, you know, you can see the scripture. You can see the actual facts. You can see what's just somebody trying to run around and what's there in the book. Muslims do good things and bad things. I'm not saying all Muslims are perfect. Christians do good things and bad things. Jews do good things and bad things. That's all human. But Islamic scripture, that's what I'm here to defend. That's what I'm here to protect. That's what I'm here to talk about. I grew up going to church. Like I grew up going to Catholic churches and Protestant churches. I've read all different types of, you know, King James and New uh, NIV and Catholic Bibles and Orthodox Bibles. And you know, I, I've got I've got so many in my personal library at home. I have a whole section on Bibles. And I can tell you, if you haven't read the Quran and you're watching, just go read it. Read it for yourself. You know, if you haven't, if you have that feeling where, where the things you were being told in church just didn't make sense Islam is the one that didn't make sense and I, I completely agree and I think that that's the next step for somebody like Young Don if, once they get past the Trinity and realize that logically it doesn't make sense based on the scripture um, then that's that's actually what made me realize that Islam must be the, the one true religion because uh, it has an actual explanation for the creator and the creation Alhamdulillah, that's beautiful. What's your, your YouTube channel I want to plug out? I kept you probably longer than you expected, but where can we find you? No, no, no problem. Uh, so j- just first, I just want to make this clear. I don't have a Patreon. I don't make money off of YouTube. I'm not trying to do this to promote. Uh, it's just a matter of sharing the knowledge and sharing the message. Alhamdulillah, we have the One Message Foundation. That's the YouTube channel. Um, that Alhamdulillah, they're, they're not just me, the other brothers involved that do the da'wah, they, they do the outreach. Alhamdulillah. Uh, we also have Masjid Ribat. That's the uh, YouTube channel for my, my mosque. 
where we do lessons and things for Muslims to further educate themselves. That's us out there. Okay, and what are you doing tomorrow? You're going to continue to give dawah. I think that that was actually a good example of giving dawah, even though he was yelling a lot. Yeah. But I, I think he's going to, what's going to happen next is he's going to start tweeting about you. He's going to start attacking you. But he's going to have to think about the fact that he couldn't have any uh, logical answer for uh, the Trinity. And so this is that, that's a good step in, in giving dawah, in, in my opinion. You know, dawah takes a lot of patience. You know, some people, people are going to throw stuff and they're going to try to jump. That's why I always go back to the actual scripture. I usually keep my Bible with me just to show the scripture. It's not just me throwing stuff out. They can look at it themselves. And if people are watching, they can go look up those verses themselves. You know, uh, it's not about trying to prove somebody wrong or trying to win a debate. In the end, it's all about the truth. And those that are sincere, they will find the truth. Alhamdulillah, today we had three people accept Islam uh, here in D.C. And Alhamdulillah, like I said, last weekend we're in, in New York and we had 30 people in three days. Islam is growing everywhere, everywhere in the world. I was in Indonesia. You can go to different countries. You'll see Europe. Islam is growing. And it's not about immigration or childbirth. People are coming to Islam online. You see our brother Andrew Tate. You see Kristen, inshallah. You see all these brothers that are coming. Alhamdulillah, as Bobby's perspective, other brothers. It's the truth. And, and everybody who's serious that doesn't want to just argue for the sake of arguing will find it to be the truth. Alhamdulillah. So I'm going to head back to San Diego tomorrow. And inshallah, then... Uh, in a couple of days, I'm going to fly back out to Canada. We have that Dawah training. And then I'm going to try to take some time off and spend some time with the family. And then in, uh, inshallah, in August, we're going to be in the UK, in Birmingham. We're going to have a big conference out there. You're invited. Inshallah. Uh, come join us out there. And uh, alhamdulillah, anyway, we're planning on going all over the world. I went to Malaysia, Indonesia, Thailand recently for Dawah. You know, not, not trying to make money off it. Just trying to, you know, spread the truth. Thank you so much for coming on, Sheikh Uthman. I really appreciate it. Excellent. You got my contact info. If you ever got questions, hit me up. I'm your brother in Islam. Alhamdulillah. You know, I don't call myself a scholar. I call myself a student of knowledge. And I hope that till I die, I'll be a student learning the divine knowledge. Um, but anytime you have questions, let me know. You know, as a new Muslim, there's going to be a lot of little diversions that are going to come. Don't worry about all that. Stick to making your, immerse, your, your iman progress, your emotional progress, your spiritual progress, whatever sins and things you may be dealing with, don't, don't let that distract you from the main purpose of your relationship with Allah. Thank you so much. All right, brother. Inshallah, we see you soon. Alaykum wa rahmatullah. Exactly.